Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. This is take two. I don't know what's going on with my camera, so we'll try again. Hey, this is the intro for our, or a little information on our fall Bible journaling camp. And of course, it will be all about gratitude and thanksgiving, as it always is. So many of you know that you're part of the channel that have already been, already made a gratitude journal this year, but we are going to do something different in this class. It is free. It is completely free. All Bible journaling camps on this channel are free. Um, I will be use, utilizing some of the um, Visual Faith Ministries materials. I also will be adding some of my own. And it is a five-day camp. It will begin November 1st, which I believe is a Monday, through that Friday, which is the 5th. So I will be pre-recording these camps in case anything happens because, <laughs> you know, we got a baby on the way, grandbaby on the way. We got all these things that are happening. So um, besides just just the time we live in. So um, I will have this all pre-recorded. Um, I have for those of you who've been watching my channel, I've already made a gratitude journal. I did that out of my October subscription box with DEK. Um, we are going to do something different. So, I'm going to give you guys some suggestions of how you can make yours. I am going to have a couple of videos doing uh, two different um, ideas. So, one of them I'm going to make with envelopes, okay? So, you just have to get, you know, it could be five envelopes. It could be, or well, six. I would do six and, you know, and maybe a cover. But, um, or you can make it even longer, make it more like I'm going to do here. And um, you can just keep going throughout the month of November. Um, you can do any size. You can do the extra like legal size or the letter size, whatever you like, um, or small. I, I think they're small. I don't know. Um, anyways, and also I get tons and tons of cards that are sent to me via charities and ministries that um, we love and support. So I'm going to also use some of these cards and um, I may use the cover. I may not, you know, um, but I just want to show you some ideas and sometimes you have old Christmas cards and you want to repurpose them. This is something you could do with that too. So, all right. All right. So I'm going to have one I'll make out of cards and one I will make out of envelopes. I will do that before camp. So probably by next week, I'll start those. Um, and then last but not least, you can, of course, do just a plain journal, any journal, whatever you want. You can cover it. You can not cover it. It is your gratitude journal. You do with it as you want. You can use a planner. You can do whatever you want. Okay. Um, I don't want anybody to feel like I can't do it because I can't afford it. Okay. Period. Now, here's some of the things you guys know. I love to keep a bucket. So you will be getting um, some digis that you'll need to print out. And, um, and even if you don't want to print them out and you want to just copy them, you know, some people are great artists in this channel. You guys could just copy them. So, you know, think about that. Um, a pair of scissors, any kind of scissors, you know, any size, you can use a trimmer. I don't have a trimmer. If you like tweezers, you can get tweezers. If you don't have tweezers, don't do it. I've got some scraps. I've got, you know, tissue from By the Well for God that I've done before. Um, the wrap that comes with it, I may use that. I also have some old sticker sets that I might utilize. These are just um, a, a kit that I get from DEK. I love that one. Um, either glue or tape runner or both. I mean, whatever you want. You can find those at the Dollar Tree or any of the dollar stores. You can also add in any washi that you would like, anything that's in your stash. Please don't go out and buy anything unless it's just something you got to do, okay? And I know how that feels. Every now and then, you want a treat, maybe that's what you go do, all right? Um, grab something that will work like sticky notes um, because we'll use these in our Bibles. You, if you can, bring a Bible. And it doesn't have to be a journaling Bible, I'm going to work out of my um, current journaling Bible that I'm using, but I've also used on this channel and in these camps um, a regular Bible, and I've done a whole camp out of a regular Bible, so um, where there's no space to journal on this side. So you can go back and look at those videos, have fun, go for it, go for it, okay? Um, you can bring paints, gelatos, pastels, anything you'd like to use. Um, if you've got a whole bunch of colored pens or pencils or anything like that, um, those are paint pens. I would, unless you have really good paper or you put 
Um, like a gel medium down. I wouldn't use paint pens, but <laughs> anyways, you can also use like these watercolor brush markers if you have a set of those. Um, you can also use colored pencils. This is colored, whoops, sorry, colored pencils. And then um, also, um, okay, I think that's more colored pencils. And then, yeah, and here, these are also just some of those Crayola colored pencils that you twist up. You can use whatever you have, okay? Please keep it simple. Um, yeah, and if you have any of those gels, you know, these are those highlighters. You can even use these when you Bible journal. I use it all, okay? <laughs> so, there's that. Um, anything, you can use paper. If you have paper that is fall paper, you can use that. Or um, I will try to find a paper that I can send you if I can find a free resource, um, you know, in a digi form. But sometimes I get that support, sometimes I don't. So we'll just have to see. And then something to keep it in. So I just got this at um, yesterday with my husband. I got it for four ninety nine. This is a really big one. I love these kind of bags. Um, they really they hold. Um, hold on. I've been printing stuff. You can hear stuff printing now, and I this one got crunched up. So, but they will hold a full sheet in them. So you can do that. You can find those at Daiso, at the Dollar Tree, anywhere. And again, if you don't want to go buy it, don't do it. You might want to just use like a two two and a half gallon Ziploc bag. That's what I've done a million times over. So I have this that I'm going to put together, and then. The last thing is, I always say, put together like a little bucket. I also have my Dollar Tree four different pen um, inks, and I will put that in there. So I just have a bucket left from the grocery store. I washed it out. It looks terrible. I might cover it. It's not, you know, just it didn't matter how much I colored, uh, washed it. I mean, it just didn't come clean. But, I mean, it works. It will put everything in it, and it will hold it, and I will have my kit ready to go. And... This is, like I've said many times over, this is how I do these camps. So, and then I'm ready to go, okay? And if I make this kind of journal, it will fit in there nicely, right? So, you guys just get ready. Send me an email, josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. It is the first week of November, the first through the fifth. And let me know if you're interested. And again, it's free. I don't give any of your information away. As everybody on this channel will tell you that's been a part of these, um, these Bible journaling camps, I don't give anything away. It's just for us. So I can send you, nobody in the group gets your information either. It's just so I can send you the free digis. All right, friends, um, I'm really excited about this Bible drilling camp. It, again, will be all about gratitude and Thanksgiving, and um, I'm excited to be with y'all again. It's been a while, and uh, I think it's time. All right, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Thank you so much for being here, and um, share this with anybody that you would like to encourage. Um, you can leave me a message down below, but if you're going to sign up for the camp, you need to email me at thejosephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com below. All right, friends, um, and that will save your spot. All right, friends, I'll talk to you soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye.